It's election day and the polls are set to open shortly in Massachusetts, but turnout is expected to be low. Nicole Jacobs is live in Boston with more on some of the key races today. Nicole. Chris, despite the expected low turnout, there are some pretty significant mayoral races throughout the state, making many ballots here races to watch. Let's go ahead and take a look first at Framingham, where residents there are voting for a mayor for the first time ever. Earlier this year, they voted to turn the town of Framingham into the city of Framingham. John Stefanini and Yvonne Spicer are the candidates there. In Lawrence, it's a rematch of sorts. Current mayor Daniel Rivera taking on former mayor. Mayor William Lantigua, just as he did in 2013 when he narrowly beat him by just 81 votes. And here in Boston, current Mayor Marty Walsh is trying to hold on to his job here at City Hall, going against popular city councilor Tito Jackson. Secretary of State William Galvin gives a closer look at why the expected low turnout should not determine the importance of this election. These are really important elections at every level, certainly at the local level. These are where the decisions that affect people where they live are, are made, uh, whether it's zoning issues, public education, transportation. These are all very significant races. Pretty significant races in Lynn, Salem, and Brockton as well. Polls open at 7 a.m. in just a little bit, and they close at 8. We're live in Boston. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ This Morning.